Hey guys, and welcome to this hobby tips video on how to color glaze blue steel armor on an Adeptus Custodes Warden. So, um, you know, we're going to go through and have a go at this. It's something that I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, you know, using the techniques from my uh, color glazing into brass armor on my Stormcast uh, models that you've seen on the channel. We're going to do the same sort of style approach, the same techniques, but now we're doing it on uh, blue steel on, on this custody here. So it's going to be really fun. We're going to be going through that process, altering it slightly. Uh, we're going to be using some uh, a little bit of a different combination of those of those shades that I use on those color glazing videos. Uh, we're going to be starting from a blue and then going through purple and then to red rather than the other way around of red first. Uh, we're also not going to be using the uh, sepia and null and oil uh, washes in this particular one. So uh, for the blue and the silver, we're going to be using uh, these Vallejo air paints, the um, what's this one called? The Arctic Blue and the uh, Acero uh, Steel, and we're going to be using that to create our blue steel base. So it's going to be a little bit of a different process to begin with. We're going to be uh, mixing up um, a I guess a starting mid-tone and then we're going to be using the uh, various shades to build up that color and get this nice kind of bluish purple, even slightly reddish toned uh, blue steel armor, and then uh, go through and build that up with silver highlights and so on to get this nice finish, just as we do for the um, for the Stormcast videos and getting something done that you can then, you know, utilize this technique across um, a whole army and get an army together relatively fast. So don't worry, I will also be doing further videos on this as well. You'll be seeing ones on how to do this entire paint scheme as well, and a whole range of other videos uh, on these custodies as I build up this army over the course of the year, just like I've done for the Stormcast and also the Soul Black Grave Lords. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really happy to be doing this. It's going to be cool. So I guess uh, we should get started, eh? Okay, so to begin with, we're just doing that uh, blue steel base. So we're going to mix those Vallejo air colors together in a, almost a one-to-one, -one, but veering more towards the steel side, so a little bit lighter than a mid-tone. And you're just seeing me paint that on. Uh, now, the consistency of this paint is good, so you won't need to add any uh, water or any medium to this. You can just paint it straight on, and it's pretty much one coat, maybe a few little touch-up areas, but more or less it's one coat of this mid-tone blue steel color that we're mixing. So again, a one-to-one, -one, but veering more towards the steel than the blue, and you'll get a nice... Uh, um, even tone and the reason for that is we want to make it a little brighter so when we put all those washes and glazes on they're going to darken it down and we'll still end up with a with a bright color so you'll just see me working my way around the model painting that base on and then once we've got that done we're going to be looking at the first wash which is the the dark blue wash mixing in some lamia medium into that not water because uh, gw shades uh, don't really uh, play well with water so we use the medium to help stabilize it so that it, it dries uh, better Better. you might get a little bit of a white residue if you mix water in so we're using the medium so you're just moving around the model painting in all the all the cracks and grooves and crevices uh, through that model and you're directing the wash to, to, to fade out into those cracks so that you don't get any uh, staining on, on the flat areas. And you'll see me just moving my way around the model doing that to give it the, an initial shadowy base for the later steps when we do the color glazing. So once you've completed that, we're then moving on to a uh, silver dry brush. So we get that Stormhose silver and we're gonna begin with a directional dry brush. So you'll see me using a sort of a wedge-shaped nylon brush, and this is really good for this. So we're simulating line edge highlighting, but with a dry brush. So you don't want like a big round brush or anything like that. You want something that's a bit more directional. And we're just gonna very, very carefully uh, brush over the edges of the armor to pick off all of that steel and bring the brightness back to this armor and, and have it shine. And that you'll, you'll notice that as you do it, it'll start to really uh, pop and become a lot more vibrant, uh, and that blue will become darker and you'll get the lighter tones on top so some good contrast will, will start to happen and this is going to give us our majority of our shading uh, for, for this for this uh, technique which is really great we're going to come back in later with some little fine edge highlights but that'll be in, an, in a later step so now we're moving into the color glazing so with this we add more Lamia medium to the first one which is the purple shade and you're going to make that quite transparent as you're seeing me do and then it's going to be added uh, into all of the shadows and all of the cracks and crevices very directional with a fine brush we're not washing it over the whole surface think uh, you know fades of color think you know sort of uh, you're you're building in 
uh, a, a gradient of purple tone in, into this armor. And so you might even leave some of the blue here and there. It's not gonna be everywhere, but you wanna darken those shadows, deepen it, make it more vibrant with that purple. And so as you do that around the model, once that's completed, then we're gonna move on to the uh, magenta red. So with that same thing again, we're gonna be adding the Lamia medium to the um, to the to the shade and then uh, very directionally now this we don't want to add a lot of red to this we're just going to be putting it into the deepest areas you'll see me just adding it to certain spots just to vary the color so now you should get blue to purple to red uh, tones across that surface so we don't want to make it all red but just very carefully into some of the deeper areas and anywhere where you feel that this is going to uh, uh, liven up the the color a lot and that's what we're looking for just to get some variation across that surface and then finally we're going to come back in without with our highlight this time with a fine detail brush and line edge highlight just the main uh, edges of this armor to give us a crisp hard line as opposed to the soft dry brush line so you're just picking out on the shoulder pads the helmet the knee the chest plate things like that major lines to help crisp it up and give us a more refined finish which is the whole idea so that you end up with a good variety of, of, of tones, hard edge, soft edge, different colors going on in that armor, and it's gonna overall uh, give you a much more satisfying result. And there we are, some blue steel armor with color glazing on a Custodes Warden, all done. So yeah, you can see it's a very easy uh, technique. You know, we're just utilizing simple methods, uh, you know, in a layered way to achieve a higher level result. We're playing with, with hard and soft edges with that silver highlight through the dry brushing and then the, uh, the fine detail brush with the final edge highlights where we're building up, uh, you know, depth of color through the red and the blue and the purple uh, to in further enrich that blue steel armor. You know, you're just, you're just trying to give it a, a lot of depth and a lot of contrast that it otherwise wouldn't have in very simple way uh, that you can then do across an entire army, which is the point, right? To, to, to finish an army with these techniques uh, and still have something that looks really cool rather than let's say a more speed painting method where you'll end up with a nice result, but maybe in six or 12 months, you won't like it as much. Whereas with this, because we're paying attention to all of those little uh, details and so on, uh, i.e. The, the fine detail like highlighting on the edges and, and that sort of thing, which gives it a more crisp sort of look, uh, you should still be happy with it in a year's time, which is, which is another important feature of doing this. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll leave a nice uh, image of the finished one at the end with the, with the paint list and so on. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, you'll be seeing a, a, another video on this where we do the complete model, uh, which which is like this with all of the other other details, uh, you know, the parax and so on. Uh, that'll be in, in a little while, but you'll see that and, and a whole bunch of other videos in this series as I, as I paint this army over the course of the year, as I've said. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. Please hit that like button, subscribe button. It really helps me out. And I guess I'll uh, catch you on the next one.